I just realized I gave Ken literally no hair. I think he needs it. He's Wheatley. Hi everyone, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, the sound levels got totally fucked in that last episode. I had to fix it as best I could, but whatever. I don't know why the game, it crashed and it fucked up and I was just like, yeah. Uh, and I'm swearing again. Uh, so, hi everyone. Uh, we got, I guess, uh, yeah, Freeman came along, that's right. And I'm just trying to remember what I did. Uh, so Freeman, uh, he's got his nice orange power armor now. Uh, so, I'm bringing him along, uh, because, yeah, because Kalkatarn got hit pretty nastily, so he's in sick bay. I don't know what to do with the Freeman, though. I I guess I'm going to just keep leveling him as a sniper. I like the two sniper loadout that I normally do. Uh, it's just, like, leveling a sniper is just so damn worthless, you know? But it's, like, either that or bring, like, Xan along, so it's, like, a, I'd rather bring, I guess, Freeman along. It's just a, it, it's only a difficult mission. It's not a very difficult one. Uh, I guess there's not much else to say here, so let's go. I guess I should level Witchel too. Actually, yeah, stealth is at max level. I think I might respec Witchel to do like stealth because that's too good. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Also, because Jack is worthless with the sword too. We're picking up a steady stream of communications coming, uploading data to the Advent network from this region. We have to take advantage of every opportunity to disrupt the aliens' progress on their latest operation. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. Don't leave any hostiles standing. Yeah, I haven't really got a chance to use that skull mining thing. I really want to use that. Metis 1-5, the communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Oh. Positions concealed. All right, let's uh, move up with Mr. Shiv up to here. Oh shit, there's civilians here. They don't care. That's so all good. Is there any high ground for my uh, rifler to take? No. There's some right here, so I can maybe get up there. <laughs> this is really not good, this concealment position. Because these do. guys are right here. Enemy sighted. Alright, we got. What do we have here? Ah, uh, just robots. Just some worthless robots. Uh. I would like to give these guys good cover. Uh, probably right here would be actually pretty good. And Freeman will go probably in the same place because he's also a sniper. I don't know what to do with stealth though. Stealth can probably just go over here. Already there. Thing is, we only have eight turns, so and as I've learned, a lot of these missions are really close. So we get, we have to be really really fast. And it looks like the patrol is moving that way, but once again, the camera has just locked me here, so it's like oh. Uh, so let's. Oh yeah, I got I got Wraith. Activate dimensional shift and freely pass through obstacles for two turns. Does, it mean, does that mean bullets pass through me? Because that's totally the way it should work. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go right here. And then I'm going to grapple. Why can't I grapple up here? Okay, so apparently our grapple hook is defective. It's always good. I'll move him over here. No we'll, we'll just all go like, well actually we should not all go into the same place now that I think about it. Because they all go into the same place and I won't be able to do anything. Like they'll just grenade it, honestly. Alright, so let's see. I, I want to I wanna totally hack that thing. But we'll hack it next turn, I think. All right, where's stealth gonna go? Good stealth can go over here. I don't know about that. This is kind of dangerous, though. Go right there. And Rip will go right here. Moving out. Why is that a flanked position right here, though? In cover. Okay, so they're just gonna go right here. Uh. You know, we can just kind of keep going towards... I mean, we can literally see that thing from right here. 
Hey, what can I grapple onto? Oh, cool. I can now grapple onto that. The reason I'm going to do that is to kill zone these guys. Alright, we're going to open up with a grenade, I think. I'm debating... I can, can I also, like, open up with, like, I don't know, a big void rift? But I don't think that affects machines. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. Nah, but that goes through cover, so let's go just lob a grenade. It's all of them. Oh, it's such a nice grenade. Get ready for a surprise! I love surprises, Pat. Pat just speaks my language. That's a really awkward grenade, too. You also totally hacked that machine, but whatever. I yeah, know we have salvo. All right, so they could definitely see us now. I might actually try and mind control one of the guys standing near the uh, the objective. So objects are closer than they appear. What? I, I like this attention to detail. This is this is great to me. But what are we on though? That has that kind of a a sign though. Too much for stun lancers. Ah, uh, he's gonna just overwatch. That's lame. Uh. Uh, free men can't actually shoot from here. Nessun problema. Right, let's see what we got to hack. I was trying to hack this guy. Even though we kind of started with him a little bit, uh, I think a hack would be pretty much in order right now. Because that, that would mean I would just kind of, uh, yeah, let's, let's temporarily take control of him. That would mean I'd just run up with him. Okay, it looks like we're not going to get that. So his defenses go up a little bit. Mr. Shiv, you suck. I nah, just kidding. The best. I guess we'll maybe shoot at him again. That's what we'll do. Hey, do you guys like uh, Pat's uh, Zebra Stripe armor? I'm quite proud of it, to be honest. Oh, there goes his Overwatch. Uh, now, what, where can Stealth go? I'm gonna just move Stealth over here, because Freeman can come over here. Actually, Freeman can go over here. Because I want to maybe take a shot at him. Oh no, that's Ken! Whoops. Totally wrong person. I sometimes get them mixed up, I'm sorry. All right, uh, no, it's it's it's, it's all good because I can I can soul fire him, so it's okay. The tissue melts away. <laughs> all all of his lines, they're the best. All right, well, I handles that guy. I I, right. I, I kind of just wanted Freeman to get some kind of like level up here. Uh, there's really nobody that can do anything here. I'm gonna just move him potentially up into a position where he can just overwatch. I'm gonna move him up here and he's gonna overwatch and if that guy moves up on us then we're gonna kill him. Unless he kind of just sits there. Or he uses rockets. He should move up, right? No, he's gonna rocket us. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna give Freeman this kill though. Freeman's kill. Uh, this is like the lamest chance to hit I've ever seen. It's because of his defense. Whatever. He got the kill. That's all that matters. His orange armor is really sexy. Alright, so we're stealth. Stealth is gonna move up beside this bus. I'm all over it. We're definitely gonna rocket that, I think. Uh, let's see what we got. We got we got a hack we can do too, maybe. Cause we I like the little bonuses we get too. Tento I don't think anybody really particularly needs healing right now. Cause you know he could get something where it permanently modifies his hack thing. Uh, 
Gain control of a random enemy for ten, two turns. That sounds amazing. Okay. Uh, it has to be a robot, right? What? He's mind controlled? Why? How does that even work? Guys, this, the science behind this is retarded. Where's, okay, Freeman already shot, so... Uh, we're just gonna move him here. I guess that'll be okay. Scanning. Me and Kate fast. Why is this so dumb? Like, how, how do, how are we possibly mind controlling this guy through a machine? Alright, alright, hey, right, right. can we, can we, can we open up with him? We can mind spin someone, or... Okay, so apparently we're not allowed to, uh, uh, we're not allowed to, what was I going to tell you guys, um, I was wondering about this, uh, okay, we're not allowed to try and mind control someone else with our mind controlled guy, I was actually wondering about that, uh, alright, that's our grenade range, it's actually still pretty far, I don't know why this guy hasn't clued into the fact that we own him now, but, I love the pain. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, what? It's Wheatley! This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic readings. Why, why is Wheatley here? Can we even see him? Yeah, we can. It's a gatekeeper. Who can we shoot, though? Just him. Uh, alright. Mr. Shiv may have to move up, though. We have some piss-poor cover here, though. I, I actually didn't think there was another... Uh, group behind them. There's probably an opportunity for a cereal. Sector that's my sectoid though. We want that one though. Alright, and let's see what our chance to kill that guy is at. Uh, I, I don't really want to dead eye this guy though. It seems worthless to do that, so I'm gonna get Pat to actually just shoot at him. Where's Pat? Yeah, th this way Pat, like, I would like Pat in Overwatch too, but... I mean, we can't all get what we want in life, so... We just have to deal with this. Because uh, there's that gatekeeper guy. And I don't know what the hell he does, so... That's my worry. Run on the margins! Alright. I'm pretty sure that I can't kill him in one hit, but the sectoid can can weaken him. Eat shit. Oh, what? Like, why are they terrible at aiming? I don't know why. Alright. Uh, I, I need these guys to stay in their nice cover. Maybe I'll, like, do, like, the little the railgun beam. The null lance. Yeah, maybe maybe that's a good idea. No one is safe. Cause you can hit him for like a good amount of damage. Ten damage. I mean, like that's that's okay with me. I think Freeman's gonna have to move up. He's battle frenzying some more. So I want them all to shoot the sectoid. I like how that guy's giving a squad sight though. Alright, and now with the last shot we're gonna do... Either the Elite Lancer or the Gatekeeper. But we're doing this with Deadeye, so we're gonna do... We're gonna try and take out that... We're gonna weaken him at least? Yeah, there you go. 15 damage. Hot damn. Alright, what else do we have? We have Mr. Shiv. 
We need to aid protocol, I think. Not me, because I think the Mr. Shivs gives like a free reaction shot, I think. So it can't be me. It's gonna have to be Pap. Which is actually really nice for him to have, to be honest. Yeah, there you go, it's right assessment. Monto la guardia. We, we may use stealth to uh Actually, you know what? Let's go over here with Gordon. I just changed my mind. Alright, let's have a look at what happens here. He's still mind controlled. Which is good. Because then they're gonna just waste a bunch of shots on him. Particularly this gatekeeper I want to waste his shots on. We did a lot of damage to this guy. What is this guy doing? Wow. He's got little tentacles. That, that's a really cool enemy design, actually. Plus 12. Did he just heal? You're not allowed to do that. Okay, I, I took a nasty hit there. Alright, we're gonna definitely grenade and do some other stuff there. Alright. The alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. Why are we looking this way? Did we just lose our cover? No, we didn't. We're fine. Alright. Why am I zoomed in? I don't know. Alright, so we got Gremlin Heal on my lot. If you can. Vaya curare. I, I know, I like I say, I, I, I said my own name, but whatever. Okay. Now we grenade. We grenade right here. Grenade right into the mouth. That, that's shitty how he just healed, healed a bunch of that damage back up. Did he even get hit? I, he must have not gotten hit there. Okay, he's got Salvo though. Oh shoot, I don't have any... Uh, I can't see him anyways actually, so it's, it's it actually worked out. So we get a free reload. So I'm gonna take that. We get Deadeye as well. He's a really crappy Deadeye though. Okay, Ken has the, the meme bacon, so uh, if we don't kill this guy, which doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's gonna be very likely that we're gonna do that, we're gonna use the meme beacon. covering now. All right, so guess we're just gonna do a shot then. He has a lot of armor, and I was really hoping we'd be able to do something else with him. Okay, still no reason for us to move up here, but we're gonna mean beacon. Because that guy, I don't like the fact he's healing this much, and I'm doing my damage. And he's a very ev evasive for something that's just a spear. Very evasive. Okay, thank god he's just aiming for that thing. Thank god these guys are all idiots. All right, Pat, you got one more grenade. Okay, wait, wait, you can either grenade or we can do reload and rupture. And I'm gonna go with reload and rupture. I wish you, I kinda wish he had free reloads now because I could have definitely done something else with him. I really wanna get rid of that armor. Thank goodness he actually hit. We've been missing this guy like crazy. I actually kinda wanna see his, uh, I want to see his, uh, let's see, his stats here. Actually, height advantage, defense, he's got 40 defense. Just because I have so many bonuses on my on my guys, so. I mean, if, if, if Freeman can hit this, he's going to totally level up, so. Do you get free reload? No, you don't. Uh, 42%, let's do it. Okay. I'm trying to get people level up. Well, I think he's. I, I'm pretty sure that guy's dead. Although maybe I shouldn't risk it because I've never seen a guy like this before. 
So it's it's very possible that he has some sort of like other thing where other form. So maybe I shouldn't be doing that. It doesn't matter. No one, I, there's no one else I want to level up right now, anyways. Because uh, I, I have I have stealth there, so if he has some other form, okay, he explodes. I was gonna say like because the, uh, there was the Andromedon, and I underestimated him the first time I faced him too, because I thought I didn't think he'd have another form, you know. All right, let's have a look here. We got two turns, so. I'm thinking we just go up here. The reason why is so I can get into range of that thing. We're near the objective. Just so I can get squad side on it and stuff. Because next turn I actually have to kill it. I think I have to fire my pistol at him. Yeah, I do. Alright, so if I go, like, right here, will I be able to shoot him? No, I'd have to move up slightly more. I'd have to go here, and then that's not even a flank shot, so... Oh, oh, wait, we can we can get him with this. I'm gonna still fire him. Your mind is your weakness. Your mind is your weakness. The thing is, free men can't shoot again, so... But we have, we have another grenade, and we got, like, enough stuff to, I think, deal with that. Especially with shotgun. Like, the shotgun, never it's underestimate dead. that. It has to be dead. Holding. I, I like how signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. I like how Ken sounds like like he sounds like a total badass, and then and then he finishes off with "It has to be dead." <laughs> like he can't make up his mind. All right, we're gonna just go up here and just shoot it with the shotgunner because there's no one else here. Oh, this is the best shot. Oh man, this angle. It's so great. I'm spotted. <laughs> I'm spotted. Did you miss it? Y he missed it! Get it together! I don't know how he managed that, but whatever. It's up to m good old Mike Latt to finish the fucking job. Thank you. Hey, right, did we do everything here? Status yeah, that, that was Mission it. Accomplished. Once again, in the nick of time. Like, it's always the nick of time. All the- always. Like, it's just- you have no time to, to dilly-dally when you start these missions, because it's like... You know, they'll, they'll, do, they'll do stuff to you. They will. They'll, they'll do stuff- the gatekeeper, though. So the gatekeeper, as far as I can see, he has a giant laser beam, so he's basically the railguns, and he can also heal himself with the melee ability. You know, I probably should try to take him over, but it, I think he was psionic, they said? So, can I mind control him? Because there, like there was like something organic on the inside of him. Like, that's that when he when he opened up. I actually, I should have tried that, now that I think about it. Kind of sad I didn't. Because uh, I'd get a better idea of what he's, uh, uh, like, vulnerable to. I'm sure we'll see him again, though. I don't know how many more enemies we haven't seen yet. Like, I keep thinking, like, oh, the Sectopod has to be the best thing that they have. But no, apparently not. There's more. Uh, at least, uh, I got wounded. Nobody leveled, really? Like, I have the stuff, I have some stuff to, like, make people level easier, but it's like, it Hello, takes forever. Commander. I'm actually gonna say, it's like one of my complaints of this game, it's like, it's like, soldiers take too long to level, so you don't really want to get them killed. But I guess that's why you do those, the, the mission that I skipped, like, for the specialist. I guess that's why you do that. Decade. No, I don't. I don't give a flying f about that. Setting course for West Africa. We have like we have more than enough engineers to last a lifetime. Long live the resistance. All right, that worked out. All right, I cannot. I cannot make anything else. Guess we'll just gather intel. Yeah, I'm kind of low on intel now. Setting course for sector ten. Eastern United States. I mean, no, no real reason I shouldn't do this. Okay, so you got in insanity, so you can give negative effects to people. All right, let's see what else we got. Sapriv is immune to fire, poison, acid, stasis, uh, 
Brenda's immune to any... You know, this seems kind of good, like, to delay some uh, an enemy. That seems really nice. Sandy now does a small amount of guaranteed damage as, as and applies rupture to the target. That's actually really nice, too. I'm going to do that one. Screw that. What can I upgrade this to? Oh, yeah, I can do... Uh, train another Psy operative, which probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, to be honest. Because if we lose Kand again, because Kand has a habit of dying on, the mission, on these missions, so... Alright, so now we have an alien infiltrator, so we're gonna have to deal with Faceless. And they made a minor breakthrough. That's, this is, to, to be honest, this is not a big deal. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Well, we're trying to finish our resistance comms, so... Okay, what, what does this do? EMP grenades wreak havoc on delicate electronic systems. Oh, this is really good then. We can stun... We can stun enemies. Blue screen rounds. Named for... Uh, blue screen rounds wreak havoc on targeted electronic systems. That's also very good. Uh, I'm very glad I got both of those, to be honest. And we can't do anything here because we have no cores. Oh, you might as well just leave this place and manage this thing. My engineers are just so worthless. I I, I shouldn't have made the workshop. I'm actually just uh, if I need power or space, I just might break it down because it looks like whatever. We do not need that. Communications facility now operational. Facility. Let's have a look. All right, so let's just put someone on this. All right. Uh, because like, as I said, really no point in doing anything else. Does it require power to upgrade, though? No, it doesn't. Which is amazing. Because I put it on that, that, I was wondering, because I put it on that, that, that station thing there. Uh, alright, I guess we'll do... Okay, so it's a question of, do we want to make contact with Europe? The Europe war people, or do we want to do this? That's 40 intel. Uh, I guess we want to do the Dark Project stuff. Sector 13, South Africa. And then I think when we're done with this, we can just finish off Africa. I guess there's no reason not to. Attempting to establish local regional contact. All right, we cleared the machinery here. Consumption reached. Literally nothing we can do with that. Like it's like we can make a power relay. Whoop de do. All right, we'll have someone man the defense matrix, and probably someone to man the power here. Because I think we'll go upgrade a couple buildings. And I guess someone on the proving ground, and then that's literally it. Like, there's actually nothing else we can do. I, I guess we can upgrade. We can make another power thing if we if we really need to. What can we upgrade? Actually, let's have a look around here. Uh, I think well, we can upgrade this. We know that much. How about defense matrix? Dude, do we want to upgrade the defense matrix? Is the question we all ask. Actually, the lab could probably use another. Yeah, let's let's go for the lab. Laboratory facility upgraded. And I guess we can't upgrade it anymore. Uh, or maybe we can. I don't think we can because I think the UI sucks. But yeah, more research speed wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, I guess. I'm, I built a lab. I might as well use it. I probably should have looked at supplies to see what else I could have made. All right, he's got insanity. Does the thing now. Views. If an enemy is carrying explosives, they will be remotely de detonated by the Psy operative. Yes! Yes, I will do that. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Central. Commander. Excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. The information I have uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... Elder. Haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration, rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. 
Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. New objective added. Use the skull jack on a codex. Eight, okay. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. Oh, we're done with that. Work is well underway, Commander. What was I doing? I was doing sectopod breakdown. Oh, look, gate gatekeeper autopsy. I think I should do some uh, intel actually first. Commander, we've already dedicated considerable resources toward the current research project. We don't have enough intel. However, we can move on to something else if you'd prefer. I can see why you. We don't have enough intel to like do all this stuff, so that's why we have to get that all out of the way. Either that, or I'm gonna have to constantly go scan that dumbass place. Uh, uh, as much as I want to break down the uh, some of that stuff. We've established contact with the local resistance forces in this region, Commander. We're ready to move on the coordinates we pulled from the Codex. I'm pretty sure this requires 80 intel. There like any kind of free intel deposits here. I can actually, yeah, we don't want an engineer. Engineers are like practically worthless to us now. All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go back to intel. Course for Eastern the United HQ. States. We've actually almost taken over the entire planet with our resistance pocket. So I'm kind of wondering when the game will decide to end or whatever. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the Resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. You know, it just occurred to me. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Two hidden events. And it's find them all within the Resistance. Uh, I don't know about this now. Yeah, we're gonna go here Avenger now. Plotting new I, that requires a lot of intel, guys. That's a lot of intel. But I'm, I'm worried it's just like gonna be like... Every every area has three new sectopods or something, so I, I'm gonna have to do that eventually. It's weird that we're like so low on intel now. Let's get the supply drop. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. All right, let's do sectopod breakdown some more. Despite Shin's reservations, I find it highly unlikely that. Yeah, we'll find additional information from the codex. All right. We just got this. I don't know. Ken got his thing right here. All right, let's see. Grant a bonus of action immediately to a nearby squad mate. Yes, definitely that. That sounds amazing. I I, I didn't even read the rest of them to see if they had changed. I'm just like oh, that one. That one's that one's pretty good. All right. Got new staff available. Uh, let's go to the black market Avengers first because we have a crap ton of uh, supplies. So. Uh, here's a question. Do we want to just, I don't know, do we want to just upgrade something that we have? I, I don't think so. I'm gonna just look through my stuff and see what we have left. I'm just, I'm going here because I can buy things for intel. I don't want to buy, can't I have, some, can't I gain intel? No, I have to, everything costs intel, this sucks. Dude, there's no way I'm selling my intel. I, I, I need it now. We can also do that mission now, so I might actually do that. Uh, but before we start that, though, Commander, Commander, uh, we will go see build items because I think, yeah, we got a fusion blade here. I mean, might as well. And then, oh yeah, here we go, EMP grenade. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that guy. We already have one meme beacon. I don't think I'm gonna bring another one. Blue screen round. Yeah, yeah. 
make one of these. Yeah, I'm sure we'll use that on somebody. I actually kind of want to see what they do. And then nanoscale vest. I think I sold that. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't need that crap no more. I don't think you'll find anyone on board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear the elders are dying off. If anything, morale probably got a boost once word spread outside of the senior staff. Of course, there's always a catch. They've always got a scheme. And I get the impression we're going to end up part of their cure whether we like it or not. Okay, uh, let's have a look here. Let's just kind of look at what she's got. Alright, so if I... So EMP grenade is but robotic damage six, radius twelve, radius oh sorry, range twelve, radius four. If they ignore armor when dealing damage, and they can be thrown or launched considerably further than standard grenades. Interesting. Uh, and blue screen rounds are bonus robotic damage five. Making them ineffective against robotic opponents. So that's amazingly good, considering how much issues I was having with them. Uh, then the question is, who do, I, who do I want to get this? I think Kyle should take this, to be honest. Because Kyle can shoot multiple times. That's going to make him, like, literally or, or like... Because that's why I gave him this bonus damage on this, uh, on that other Venom Rounds thing. That's what we're going to do, I think. I think he'll just destroy everything, because he can, he can pistol them multiple times, I think. But we'll definitely try it. Alright, I guess we're not doing anything here. Uh, I guess we got no reason not to do this thing right here. What, what, is, what, what does this thing give us? Yeah, sims and things may be reused. I, I couldn't really care. Codex. Oh, look, there you go. You got your codex here. We get supplies out of this. whoop de doo uh, Elite Lancer. Chrysalid. Uh, that's not fun. So, we're, we don't even want to use the, the EMP stuff because none of this is, is robots. Except maybe the codex. Setting course for South Africa. Just something interesting to note, you know. But I'll, I will. We'll, we'll do this now. There's no reason for us not to do it, I guess. They're probably not going to use our new EMP stuff. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Yeah, we'll do that. But that will be for next time, guys. So remember. We will be watching.